This video is sponsored by bootcamp.com. Check it out for INBDE prep and use coupon code MENTALDENTAL for 10% off. Hey everyone, Dr. Ryan here coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia. And today's topic is going to be should you carbo load before your board exam? Guys, if you like the content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Pay it forward to someone who could use the content. So what is carbo loading? Well, it stands for carbohydrate loading and anyone who's ever run a marathon or competed in some long athletic event may have done it before. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I often refer to these board exams as marathons because they're not 20 question quizzes or even 50 question tests. These are 500 question marathons. They require stamina, endurance, strategy, and training. Since carb loading is generally recommended for physically intensive athletic events lasting longer than 90 minutes, like a marathon, can the same philosophy apply to taking a mentally intensive board exam for several hours. So carb loading basically involves eating a high volume of carbohydrate rich foods, usually pasta, pizza, maybe some vegetables the night before the big event. And by fueling with all these carbs, there's theoretically more glucose floating around your brain for it to use on test day. And in addition to that, the carbs may potentially help you fall asleep easier the night before the exam. In theory, it makes some sense, but personally, I have some second thoughts about it. First of all, I would never, and I mean never, introduce anything new to my routine 24 hours before the exam. So if you've never done carb loading before, I would not test it out right before your test. If you want to try it, you could simulate the test day with a practice test, say a week or so before your actual test, and see how it works for you. But if this gives you an upset stomach, or you have trouble digesting this big meal before you go to bed, or it gives you cramps the next day, that's a huge red flag, and I would definitely not do this if I were you. And then the second problem that I have with it is bulking with carbs gives you a lot of physical energy when you're doing a highly aerobic event or activity like running, but sitting down for seven hours in front of a computer screen doesn't really fit that criteria. Yes, marathoners burn off all that glucose, and while your brain will use some of those carbs, it doesn't need that much. So if it were me, I would eat a normal dinner the evening before, nothing that'll negatively impact my sleep, so I'd avoid a lot of sugar, a lot of caffeine, stuff like that. Absolutely have a good breakfast the morning of the exam, and then bring a small lunch or snacks during your breaks. But that's it. That's what I would do. I wouldn't do anything extreme and would introduce nothing new to my routine that I haven't already experienced before. Guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from Atlanta, Georgia. This is Dr. Ryan, and until next time, eat healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to this channel for much more on dentistry. If you'd like to support me, please check out my Patreon page. And thank you to all of my patrons for their support. You can unlock access to my video slides to take notes on and practice questions for the board exams. So go check that out. The link is in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video.